Hey, hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the tower defense template. Um, when I first made this template, I never took use of message arguments and it was early stages of 0 0.9. Um, so I'm just going to update it, make sure it all works just fine. Uh, then we're going to make all the assets uh, into basics. Uh, so that way you can um, download the template and use the presets without any issues. Whereas uh, the first time um, when you downloaded this template, if you didn't have the assets in the library, um, you couldn't access uh, the presets. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, and then next week we will be showcasing uh, 0 0.10. Just going through the features, the change logs, and letting you know what's coming. Uh, so that way you can plan for your games better and um, and get excited of what's happening. So uh, thanks for tuning in today. How's everyone going? Bert, good day, mate. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, someone asks, how does the sandbox tool operate? Is some rich guy just funding all the losses? Lol. Um, so sandbox has a big war chest. Um, they got a lot of funding uh, a few years back and additional funding, um, I think later on. So I think there is a lot behind sandbox. So it's not gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, so it's going to be operating for a while and there's a lot of updates coming this year which is just going to make this program a lot better and the games a lot more fun um, and we'll be sitting up the um, sitting up uh, near, the, near the area we want to be uh, when we try to promote our games to other people but um, let's uh, I haven't played this template in ages so let's give it a shot and see if it works, see if I can get to the end, see how it feels, and uh, we'll make some changes and updates as needed. Uh, did you like my little, um, my little loading screen for the stream? I uh, did that on the weekend. It is a work in progress, so hopefully next week it will be a bit more updated and a change in. Um, but I haven't used Af After Effects in like 10 years plus, so I got access to it again. Uh, so playing around with After Effects is a lot of fun and I really enjoyed making that. Um, it's like riding a bike, getting used to it all again. It's pretty easy. All right, so let's play the game. So this all works still as intended, that's good. Still can't go for a swim, that's good. Is my secret still active? Yeah, unlimited money. Don't know if you knew this, if you played around with the template. We got an unlimited money area. Okay, so the barbecue tower works, that's great. And we'll have the sand castle. Cool beans. And we'll see if the lighthouse works. Nice. Okay, good. Buy a fire totem. I'll place that down. And we'll buy a slow totem and place that down. And that way that will get stuck and hopefully burn to death. Yep, overcooked burgers for the win. Ooh. I can attack my tower, that's interesting. 
Let's see if it actually dies. Uh, no 0 0.10 today, Little Legion. It's delayed to next week. So I'll be showcasing 0 0.10 next Monday. I know, I know. Sad times. But also good times. Because going through 0 0.10 is going to be really cool. There's so much to show. It's a huge update, by the way. A lot has been added. Looks like I can't kill the barbecue, so that's good. Audio is a different story. Um, there's going to be new audio features come in, which is great. Um, but I don't know about custom sounds yet. Don't know how they're going to go about doing that. I don't know much about it either. Now, I played a round with uh, Roblox on the weekend as well uh, because my son likes playing Roblox and he wanted me to make him a quick obby or something on the editor and gave me a bit of a chance to try it out and see what it's like. Uh, it's definitely not easy. You definitely need to know how to code or obtain a code from somewhere. Um, but to add custom audio, you need to go to the website and upload an audio file. It only allowed me to upload one, only one file. And then I had to use some sort of script to bring it into the game. Um, I don't really like the editor. I really prefer sandbox, building games in sandbox. Uh, so Roblox is definitely not my thing. But it was just interesting to see how they handled audio, like custom audio. And it's, uh, yeah, uploaded through their website. So I'm hoping we get something similar where we can upload our audio uh, and it goes through the audio like what YouTube does with their uh, videos. Detects if there's any copyright or any, I don't know, anything malicious in the audio. We'll probably need something like that set up before we can release it to everyone. Otherwise, it's going to be a disaster. People abusing it and doing, you know, people being people sometimes on the internet. So far, this is all working. We're up to wave nine. Uh, we've got 10 lives still. We've got unlimited money. I forgot to remove this, but you know, it's good for testing. You've been trying to create something similar to the Stanley Parable for a while now. Audio is so important to most of my games. Yes, that's a good game, that one. Um, audio is definitely important. It's half the, uh, half the experience, to be honest. Visual and audio. But once audio kicks in, the full immersion kicks in when playing games. Um, also save feature, so we have a reason to play games again and come back to them later if we haven't finished them. We still got a bit more work to do in the back end for Sandbox, but it's coming. It will be here. Uh, in 0 0.10, uh, there is hotkeys. 
So you can press the number between 0 and 9 on the top of your keyboard and you can allocate a message that gets sent out when a player presses that button. So you won't need to have menus like this where you use an asker to go to the next page and then pick your tower. You can simply just hover over the area and press 1 or 2 or 3 on a keyboard. Uh, and just show what each button does as a as an, as an asset or an indicator. Um, that way, it's a uh, it's less clunky when dealing with multiple things, and the player doesn't have to be restricted to pressing E and the asker to trigger things. Because here you can only have four options. Technically, three if you need an exit. Technically, two if you need a page back and forth button. Uh, but with hotkeys now. You can do things like World of Warcraft, where you can push a button, cast a spell, or select things, or send messages, work with menus, um, that sort of thing. So I'll showcase that as well next week. And that means I'll have to update this template again, because this template will benefit from hotkeys as well. upgrade the towers just want to see if it gets to the end of the game and that everything works well yeah. Yeah. all right the ability works as well so that's good This ability works as well. And it kind of freezes some NPCs, I guess. I forgot what I did for the uh, <laughs> for the actual ability, but it looks like that's what it was. Ability not ready yet. Ah, uh, there's the cooldown on the left. That's right. I remember now. Uh, money totem. These are cool as well. They shake every 10 seconds, and when they shake, you get extra money. So it's like a passive income. Hey, Clan Crush, how's it going? So we're up to wave 17. I think this goes to wave 30. I did try to make this a multiplayer game, uh, but um, Sandbox is still porting over NPCs, so NPCs in multiplayer aren't very reliable, they don't get targeted by tags and all that sort of stuff. Um, so down the track, maybe point 0.11 or point 0.12, we'll get the port for NPCs. Uh, once we get NPCs ported over, then this sort of game can be multiplayer. And then, games will get really exciting. Hey Pickaxe Master, how's it going? I'll be showcasing 0 0.10 next week. Just to let you know. Are there any plans to expand a max number of variable display on HUD? Um, it's still 5 at the bottom, 5 on the left, um, but there's also 1 in the middle, middle top. So you know when you have like soccer scores and things like that, uh, you'll have something at the top um, up here. 
um, so you can set up timers and score and all sorts of things in the top uh, it'll still be five on the left and five at the bottom um, but they introduced little icons so you have icons next to each of your HUDs so if it's money or health or energy or oxygen or anything um, that might be related to the variable you're showing there's little icons you can pick from to help visualize uh, what this variable does um, so they added a few little things like that which are up to quality Um, but HUDs work a little bit different in 0.10. I'll have to show you how that's set up next week. And we'll go through all of that. Ah, nice feedback. Very good. This game is easy when you got unlimited money. But I'm just purely testing to make sure everything still functions and works. So far so good. Very good. Now we have had a tail defense game jam using this template. Uh, it is very easy to change things. So it would be nice to see um, more tail defense games in the metaverse. Especially when it's multiplayer in the future. But just having a really, um, a really well thought out tail defense that functions well and with cool visuals and upgrades. Uh, without any bugs is still is still sought after I reckon but even more so for multiplayer you find most of the games on uh, Starcraft 2 uh, they have like an arcade mode and the most popular ones are like tower defense or building mobs that push each other in the middle and doing like a tug of war so having those sort of games in the future will be really fun especially if it's two player or four player or six player where you can do 3v3 that'd be fantastic is speaker rotation patched um, i don't know um, i don't know because i haven't used 0 0.10 i've checked it out for like an hour uh, but I've been busy doing a cooking template in 0 0.9 and I was stressed trying to get that done in time and making sure everything was working and no bugs and have the logic laid out and explained and but now that's all done um, I'll be able to experiment in 0 0.10 after this stream so after this stream is basically when I'm basically going to be going into 0 0.10 and playing around with it and building something in it for the first time even though I've had it for like weeks and weeks just no time to use it oh thanks little legion I don't know if it was um if the cooking template was too complicated or if it wasn't that appealing but I've been getting some good feedback for it which is great if you have any criticism I'd like to hear it as well so I know how to make the next template better and that way we can all improve it and we'll have better quality products for everyone so we're up to wave 26 almost near the end It looks like the template is working just fine.
uh, there should be advanced application. Uh, it's a very advanced application. There should be some spawners of the plates and pots in the tutorial so we can test it as the asker tells us about it. Yeah, that would have been a bit more ideal if I had more time. Um, but the plates and pots and ingredients are movable and there is tables that you can put them on. But yeah, nothing with instructions. But definitely good feedback. And it is something I did want to do. But that's time restraints. I spent too long trying to work out the plate issue. It seems simple now when you have the answer in front of you. But it took a while to figure it out. Alright, wave 29. Last wave I think is a hard one. It's actually not meant to be passable in a normal circumstance, I think. Um, I'll build more towers just in case. Looks like it'll be fine. Zero point ten. Since the hot keys are going to be bound bound to zero to nine on the numbers, uh, it would be cool to have a uh, like a Razor Naga mouse where you have the numbers on the side. So I don't even need to push the button on the keyboard. I just use my mouse. So everything makes interacting with the game a lot better. Victory. So it all works. A template, which is good. Excellent. Uh, we're going to test the defeat condition. Um, we're not going to build any towers. We're just going to build one to let the enemies go through. And basically we have 10 lives. If 10 enemies get through and make it to the end, we should lose a life one by one and then get defeat. So we'll make sure that one works. And then we'll go into editing the logic. Also with hotkeys. You can make it so the next wave doesn't start automatically. You can have a hotkey that you can push, um, like a zero or a one on the keyboard uh, to start the next wave. So that way when a player is ready, they can push a button on the keyboard to trigger the next wave to begin. You can do little things like that with hotkeys to enhance the experience. All right, now we should see the lives start counting down. Yep, that's good. One more. And defeat. So all that works. That's good. So we don't have to worry about that. 
and we'll just go through our logic and clean it up and improve it. So one of the things I can improve is the um, money, I believe. Um, where did I put the money? Displays enemy UI. Here lies each row. Activate tower. That one's a rose. Um, this one here is a row setup. Information about the towers. Uh, totem shop. Maybe it's just all in the rule system. No numpad needed. money so here I've got um, money plus one money plus two money plus three money plus five money plus a hundred uh, with message arguments all I need is money as a message argument and then we add a variable called number and we just call it money and that's what we should be using as a message argument and we don't need any of this from now on we get rid of the plus two plus three plus five plus a hundred not needed we just need the money variable um, add money uh, and when spending money as well um, so you got minus ten um, to money here we could have a message argument if we needed the money argument but I don't think that one is going to work when purchasing because there needs to be a a message to say it's been correct that's unique uh, so that's fine this reduced the board a little bit when I made this template there was no indicator here so I didn't have to work in the bounds of this indicator still don't technically uh, but if I want people to have better performance in the experience in the editor sorry it's good to reduce that as much as possible um, so now that we've changed that rule money now these come from the waves so I think the waves themselves actually send it when they die so let's um, Let's go into the parking lot and we'll set it up here. Meet you in the parking lot, mate. And I think I just type in wave. Cool, cool. And we're gonna go wave one. And here, um, we'll get rid of the grid. No one needs to see the grid. You can see all the spawn points, this thing, sorry, the, um, it's not spawn points, it's our destination points of the advanced platform. And if we scroll down to the help component, uh, when it dies, it will send a money message. So here we got money plus one. All we need to do here is just money. It should be yellow. And now it's added a message, broad, uh, message argument so now we can send a value of one when this thing dies um, and just make sure um, no collisions and that's wave one cool we're going to go to the preset we're going to save over it and that's that one done we'll delete that um, now we need to go to wave two so this one here I think some of them had collisions on, so I'm going to make sure that it has no collisions. Cool. Edit the logic. I'm basically going to go through each one of these and change the money. Uh, the same money plus one to all. Um, it's just going to be money. And it's that's how much it's going to be adding on to the um, rule system. and that's wave 2 
and it has no collisions. I'll go ahead and save that one. Uh, wave two. Perfect. Delete. Um, so now we're going to go wave three. <laughs> hey Hoddle. Hey Dell. How's it going? Then Koi. So here we go, money. It's just going to be an argument now. And we're going to add one. And here you can change the preset because the preset will be working when this template is finished uh, by tomorrow. And then you can change the presets. You'll be able to bring them out this time and change the variables and all that sort of stuff. We're getting there slowly, ironing out all the issues one by one. All right, wave four, no collisions, edit logic. Hey, play game for fun. How's it going? Uh, so we're gonna, it's money plus one again. So we're just gonna add money and one. That's no collisions. I'm gonna go ahead and save over number four. Wave five. No collisions. Dell says good morning and year of the dragon. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, money plus three. All right, and we can save over wave five. We'll delete. Now it's no collisions, that's good. I don't know where the collisions begin on some of these NPCs, but we're gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, money plus two, so we just change it to money, and a value to all will be two. And we save over preset number six. Now we delete it. Number seven. No collisions. LLO, ah yes. Very good. Ah, uh, money plus two. So it's gonna be money and two. And we'll go ahead and save over the preset. Delete. Uh, no collisions, so that's good. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but if you want the avatar to not be able to damage something, but you need a health component on it, just put the tag friendly on it. Uh, it will still die and take damage, just not from the avatar. Money two. Okay, wave nine. Uh, 
Uh, wave 9, no collisions. Almost forgot to check then. Ah, and it doesn't have the friendly tag, as you can see. So this one would die if the avatar attacked it. So there was an error there. Uh, money plus 3. It's always easy to forget things. That's why it's always good to test, double check, make sure your game can't be broken. It can always be broken. There's always something, unless you test it for ages. And then get other people to test it because they do things that you didn't think of and broke it a different way. No collisions. Wave 10, uh, no friendly tag, so I'm going to go ahead and add friendly tag. And here it's money plus 5, so I'm going to do money, and I'm going to give it 5. Save over the preset. Eleven. Uh, no collisions again, which is good. Uh, let's check the tags now because I think friendly stopped. <laughs> I don't know why, but there is no friendly tags on these NPCs. Um, money plus three. You know what I just realized would be useful? I'll show you when it happens next one. 12. Uh, no collisions. I'll just make sure that it's copy in. There's no friendly tag. Add friendly. Uh, maybe it already works. Let me test it. So when I type a message here, money plus three, if I type in money, can I just press enter? Yay, I can. I've been clicking it for no reason. All right, cool. It never used to work. Back in the day and I never tried it again. Uh, friendly tag, cool. Oh, did I save over the preset? Fuck, I mean, <clears throat> let me check. Yeah, I added a friendly tag, so that means the health is good. Yep, okay, good. Okay, no collisions. Wave 13. Um, add the friendly tag. Is there a way to have individual victory and defeat in the multiplayer experience? I've never tried it. I've never added a victory. Are you finding that it triggers for everybody? So if you had a victory for someone that makes it to the end, it's triggering victory for everyone? Ah, interesting. Yeah, that shouldn't be like that. Um, I'll ask I'll ask the devs let's see what they say okay wave 14 this one has friendly that's strange it's random Uh, money two. Okay. Save over that one. Wave fifteen. 
No collisions, that's good. Uh, no friendly tag, better add that. All right, we're halfway now. It's 30 waves. I will call you VI Vox for short. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, money plus five. Done. All right. Mob sixteen. No collisions. And friendly tags on this one. That's random. No idea why it's on this one and not on the rest. Uh, money plus one. Do I really want one money after all of this? I'm just going to put two on this one. I shouldn't be on wave this late in the wave and only have one per kill. So I'm going to go for two. Change it up, you know. Uh, delete. Add number 17. No collisions. This one has friendly tag, don't have to worry about that. And money plus one again. I'm just going to do two for this one. collisions wave 18 it's friendly my puppy is sleeping under my desk and making weird noises so if you, uh, you hear that you know what it is Wave 19, it's friendly. Uh, money plus one. I'm going to be doing two. Why is that? Caps. Caps. Caps makes a difference. All right, we're in the twenties now. Uh, I feel like I should save. Imagine if it crashed and <laughs> do it all that again. My God. Someone asked, Lute Lieutenant General, very good name. Uh, can I use avatar tag on a broadcaster's type? So it sends health message only to the specific tags in range and damage only the player and not other assets with health component um, yes so for this one here uh, what you want to do is add a volume uh, so if you add a volume trigger you can have a I don't know let's just say a box and the box is 2x2x2 two by two by two. so if a player walks in that yellow box you can make it whatever you want uh, you can have enter message be um, health so health is the blue and when you do that you got health here you can minus a number or plus a number and that's how much health you'll gain or lose and what you do for broadcast type is that you can do triggering actor and triggering actor is for whoever walked in here and it will only send a message to the person that walked into it uh, so that health will be lost to the avatar that walked in this area so triggering, arrow, triggering character is probably what you want to use instead of specific um, tags in range unless there is a, um, a trap 
where it's triggered by time. Um, you can do message broadcaster. I don't know if it has triggering actor because it's not a trigger, uh, but you can do um, everyone in range or you can do, um, yeah, it'll be specific tags in range. And here you'll type in avatar and the message you want to send is health and you just minus how much health you want the power to lose and everyone in that bubble uh, will lose that health so that would be the only way to do it if there's two avatars in there they'll both um, get damaged Yeah, avatar with a capital A. So if you go to player up here, you can see the tags that are attached onto the avatar when they spawn. You can always add your own tag here. And then you can change that and put it wherever you want. Um, but that's how you see and add tags to an avatar. So you don't have to use the word avatar, you can use something else. I don't know how that works in multiplayer though. Um, I haven't really done, you know, things with health and damage and whatnot on multiplayer. I don't think. What have I made? This one here, no damage to the avatar, back rooms, not a multiplayer game, cooking simulator. It's cooking simulator, I can kill the avatars, so that means I should be able to damage them. But yeah, hope that helps. Uh, wave 20, no collisions. We need a friendly tag. Remember to add friendly to the health component if you don't want the avatar to damage it. But still take damage other ways. Money plus five. And we'll just save over that preset. I'm getting dry lips. Just thought you should know. Uh, wave 21. Uh, no collisions. And it has the friendly tag already. And that's money plus one. We're actually gonna do money plus two. And wave 22. Uh, no collisions, has a friendly tag. And this one here is money two. Okay, no collisions. Friendly. Alright, we'll add two for this one. Has a friendly tag and there's no collisions, right? Okay, that's good. 23, 24. No collisions. Uh, friendly and that's twenty four. Twenty five.
it's almost a Zen ASMR stream. Just repeating the same things over and over, one by one. Friendly tag. And we need to change the uh, message sent, which is five for money. Twenty six. No collisions. I guess there was no collisions on some of them. Maybe the collisions come out after they spawn, like some sort of bug. So I swear I wasn't able to walk through some of them. Money plus two. Twenty-seven. No collisions. That's uh, friendly. That's good. And we'll make it money plus two. Almost at the end. Twenty-eight. No collisions. Friendly. Uh, money plus two. Awesome. Two more to go. It's just a matter of patience and repetition. But um, this will be part of the template. So this will be changed for everyone that downloads it when it's live in a couple of days. Live again. I think the first time we did it, we had preset issues. But now we have a way to make them basic assets. So that way the presets will work. Wave 30. Um, friendly. Now if you want a, a tower defense game where the player actually s helps damage the NPCs, like orcs must die, um, you just get rid of the friendly tag and that way the avatar can damage the, the waves as well. Hmm. No money is given. Uh, because it's the last wave. Um, so, yes. Don't really need to change anything here. Just checking collisions. There's no collisions. It's good. We'll go ahead and save over it. Cool. Alright, let me save. And we'll just check if it works. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine it doesn't work. It doesn't let out for no reason. It's good to test the first one out and then make sure it works before you do all the rest. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be fine. Cool. Let's have a look. Uh, remember I have a explore the logic floor, so if you want to know how things work, um, I have little explanations of what each thing does. It's not as detailed as the cooking cooking simulator, um, but it is some explanation. And you can see the money is working just fine. The bottom left corner. The money's going up. 
when the NPCs die. So that all works as intended. Cool. So we saved a bit of um, rules board from that little upgrade. Um, it wasn't much of a performance increase, but it still allows a little bit more extra rules to be added now that weren't available before because uh, we got rid of four rules that weren't needed and made them all into one. And um, now we can see if we can cut anything else back. Opening up the rule system. thought it was going to crash then. Nope, it's all good. It's all good. Alright, so... This one here is the shop system. I don't think this one here can be improved. Um, it can be in 0 0.10, uh, because we'll have if and else statements. So if we do a comparison, here we can compare numbers and whatnot. There'll be more rules with if and else statements. So we can say... Um, here when we want to do shopping um, it's sending the message to two different ones and it's saying is it equals or lower than 10 if you have money greater or equals to 10 then you buy it um, but if you have lower than 10 uh, say you have failed payment uh, in 0 0.10 you can have if and else statement to have one rule and it'll say, if you have 10, send this message. If you don't, send this message. So it's basically going to have these rules uh, as well, uh, which will then really free up more of the board because this is here for multiple rows. So I'll be able to have pretty much each of these rule sets for each tower uh, in 0 0.10 with the if else statement alone. Um, so yeah, but I'll just let you know that. So I can't change anything here yet, but in 0 0.10 I will be. Um, this will need to be changed in 0 0.10, um, but I can also improve this as well. Um, I know I can't because I need something to trigger these on. But if, let's say, I've already saved it, haven't I? So if I um, have no, because I have a message that turns them on, so that won't do either. And I exceeded multiplayer, but it's not a multiplayer game, so that's fine. Or what else can we change? Uh, fire totem, buy fire totem. Uh, number to compare is money. That will be improved again with if else statements. So again, more room will be improved on here. Um, What else have we got? Cooldown check. Um, now, the, yeah, so this one can be improved as well. So I've got show sandcastle cooldown and hide sandcastle cooldown. Um, I could probably use a true and false statement. So if I had. Um, the variable cooldown I can have message argument and the message argument can be a true and false statement um, and that true and false statement will only need one instead of two and that will apply to uh, several rules here as well so that's one way to improve efficiency of the grid board victory and all that is fine I think we're good. I think we don't need to do much else for this one. 
Yeah, if else statement is going to be huge. Um, and from what I read as well, oh, whoops. You should be able to send message arguments from the rule system out into the world, uh, which is a huge thing because I've got a board game uh, which tracks the player's number on the board. Um, but I need individual messages to trigger the animated decoration for each square. So after like 36 squares, I've got 36 rules because it needs to send out a message depending on what number it's on. Uh, so if what I think is it works, um, I will only need one rule instead of all 36. And the one rule should be, or two rules should cover all the squares instead of having one for each square, uh, which really filled up my board space real quick. Um, and that should really simplify logic in the future as well. Um, but yeah, can't wait to show you 0 0.10 next week. There's plenty to go through. I'll literally be going through the whole thing, uh, showing you all the new logic, all the new components and behaviors, um, all the new rules to work with, um, the little functions that have been upgraded. I think hierarchy has been updated. Uh, to have folders and things like that. Um, I need to double check that because I haven't played around with it, but I read it somewhere. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Um, there's a lot more I haven't mentioned as well. I'll save that to next week. But I think that's all I'm going to do today. Um, we've updated the money section. To update the couple of rules, I don't think I'm going to do that on this version. I'm going to do it on 0 0.10 um, next week, I think, after doing the showcase, just to show the applications, or maybe the week after, I don't know. Um, but yeah, and this is going to change again too, so there's no point in doing that now uh, with the toggle on and off with the true and false statements. But yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in today. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Go through 0 0.10. And we're really, really close to that release. Um, sometime next month. And it's going to be sweet. Hey, Skate Room Artist, how's it going? Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in today. Keeping this one short. Um, and... Yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next week. I'll play the marketing video and sign out. Have a good one. Take care. Hello and welcome back to another news of the week with me, Panda Pops. So let's jump straight into what is happening this week and all of the latest news as well as our mentions of the week. Going over to the events page, we do still have the Game Maker Fund Builders Challenge happening. There is a huge reward pool of 1 million sand shared between all the winners. If you would like to know how to be eligible, please do go over to sandbox.game and go to events, click on the Builders Challenge event, and here you will see plenty of links that will take you to see eligibility and all of that important stuff. So go check that out. Next, we have the Love and Music Festival. This ends on March 28th. So just a few more days remaining for this one. So make sure to go and play those experiences, get that EP, so you are eligible to win the prizes. Many different prizes for lots of different types of people. 80k for landowners, 50k for avatar owners, 30k sand is for everybody, so no investment needed there. And then there are some additional rewards. Next up, we do have the entanglement treasure hunt. This ends on April 24th. This is a super unique kind of event happening this is being run by endzone and the prize is by endzone this is just something that sandbox is supporting and advertising so definitely go check out the entanglement game um by endzone next up registrations for a game jam yes chef game jam register by march 20th 
So you'll only have a few more days once this video goes live. And if you did miss registration, then do make sure to always be checking those event pages because Box Edit and Game Jams do show up on here. So do check there. There's the prize breakdowns here. So it'll show you all of the first, second, third, fourth place, fifth to tenth place, as well as the honorable mentions. Next up is the Easter 2024 Vox Edit Contest. This ends on March 29th, so you've got a few days. There is a regular category and a beginner category. You can click learn more to go to the Medium article, which does have a few additional information, but all of the main information is on here. So we have prizes with uh, the breakdown for each category, how to be a verified creator, the all the important dates, as well as results being announced on a live show on April 20th over on Twitch. So make sure to tune in for that. How to submit your entry, important guidelines, please do check these, and the judging criteria. Now let's move on to our mentions of the week. So our first one goes to Chimper Bastion, and sorry if I said your name wrong, and this is for their primal assets. So they have primal equipment here, and this is somebody from the Creator Fund, and I will be highlighting many members of our Creator Fund throughout these mentions of the week, as well as many other artists as well. These legs have speed associated to them. So this is their primal armor. Check out Chimp Chimper Bastion, and I hope I said that name correct. But some amazing assets there for a hundred sand. Our next mention goes to S7E FA Voxel. Obviously, we want to highlight both Creator Fund and other artists as well so do make sure if you would like to be mentioned in our mentions of the week for art for experiences that you have created or just general content that you would like us to highlight on these streams then do let me know tag pandapop7 over on twitter so i can see your amazing work and showcase you but this is an amazing tank look at the detail on this look at it Fantastic, fantastic detail. Next up is Arumita with the police security drone. Cute little thing here. Lots of animations. Would be great in so some sort of uh, futuristic experience. Next, I want to highlight this little video that I was tagged in by Lucky Sheep. It's an elevated house that they have created. Lots of love and detail has been put in this asset and I, I really like it. Our last mention of the week goes to Chili Oil. And if you have not seen Chili Oil's work, you definitely should. It's just a, a definite artist that you should be following. So Chili Oil actually posted this uh, picture the other day and I've actually had some people ask is is this is this done in Vox Edit? Is this is this a sandbox game? <laughs> has this been created using Vox Edit? Yes, yes, it has, and it's it's wonderful. It's absolutely fantastic. Just so clean, and the detail is fantastic. The way they've been able to make it not look like voxels is. Just wonderful and I really really wanted to highlight them they're always making fantastic absolutely fantastic pieces of work and I just really wanted to highlight this here because it's beautiful it's just stunning so now let's go on to our experience mentions of the week let's get into those so our first experience mention is color catch by Yetzi Jam Game, and I'm sorry if I said that incorrect as well. Absolutely amazing, love this one, great multiplayer experience. So definitely go in there with some of your friends, hang out. We should be playing this, depending on when you're seeing this news of the week, we should be playing this 
on Friday's group play stream that we are doing. So yeah, looks really cool. Definitely uh, check this one out. Our next experience mention is Bunny's Brawl. Go check this out. This was entered for the Care Bears end of year tower defense game jam. If a tower defense game is something that you are interested in checking out, do go have a little look and a little play. Show some love to uh, Aoki, uh, Aoki Studio. That is it for our news of the week. And now back to your regular scheduled content. See you next time.